channel. It's your girl Mahogany. You already know what to do. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop another video, 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 video. Okay. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at um, MahoganyJ underscore and also on TikTok. Okay. I'm also on Facebook too. Just follow me everywhere. All right. Um, but guys, I am. Um, I just finished making dinner not too long ago for the family. Um, I realized that I was out of stuff for myself. So I'm probably going to end up like ordering me some dinner tonight um, because all I had was like some stuff to make like the kiddos, like some chicken quesadillas, but like um, not chicken quesadillas, cheese quesadillas and like a whole meal for them. But like nothing really for like me, especially like uh, what I got going on, y'all. It's my time of the month and I'm just like, it's a lot going on and I got a specific palate that I want to eat from during this time so oh if y'all haven't watched my last video make sure you go back and watch my last video i kind of talked on this whole situation i'm going on that's going on with my time of the month like y'all i keep bleeding but that's the conversation for another day this is like girl talk just letting y'all know but i talked more in detail about it in my last vlog Ooh, it's crazy so like i have a very particular um diet that i'm like doing right now because of how i feel so that's why i said i'll probably order me something um from like DoorDash or something because I, I just don't want any I, I don't know I want a specific thing to eat tonight but guys um tonight I actually am going to be flying out tomorrow um y'all hear the robot vacuum y'all I love the vacuum so much I'm always telling you guys about it showing you guys it because I really love it so so much um it be doing the job okay so um with that being said y'all I am flying out tomorrow and um I need to pack. I need to pack, um, get my stuff together. All I have together is this stuff right here. All I have together is just this one look. Y'all have the shoes for it, the bags, even down to like the phone case. I got my flutter on because I'm going to wear my hair bone straight. The nails and everything, like this is like one of my highlighted looks that I'm going to be wearing. But I don't have the rest of my stuff together. Um, as y'all see, I got all these dang on wigs right here. These are like some wigs from my recent look. Um, a blonde full lace, a red one, a black curly wig. And then I got like, I think a, a second black one that has like, like a skunk kind of look to it. It has like some blonde right here. So, woo wee, woo wee. Look at this mess. I, I got um, just a lot going on. I just got a lot going on. So I need to go ahead and pack. Um for this trip not going to be gone too many days so i don't have to pack too 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 much but i still need to pack so i'm going to go up to my closet now and bring down some stuff get my outport airport fit y'all don't know how it is being a female like you gotta have a whole airport fit you can't just go to the airport just like you gotta have an airport fit that's the times we're living in so i gotta get my airport fit um i'm gonna be leaving the house at like five Ooh, we we gonna have a time but i'm excited to take you guys with me um this is gonna be a travel vlog so get ready for like a travel series um did i tell y'all where i'm going hopefully i didn't tell y'all because i want y'all to be surprised so i'm gonna go get my outfit so y'all so that i can get ready to pack all right guys so i am upstairs in my closet um y'all here's my side of the closet right here y'all it's a shame we're still very much um unpacking still like we have not fully unpacked yet um and we've been in this house for what july august september october at least four months and i feel like we're still unpacking it's been a journey for sure um but nonetheless i do know for this closet area we want to like put a couch right here so you can like sit we want to add a mirror and some stuff so when they start on the upstairs renovations i keep saying renovations the upstairs it's not renovations what would it be considered like i guess i don't know like just to doing the whole upstairs decor part um we're gonna get a sofa added um but this right here guys is where i keep like my cozy clothes um i got all this stuff in my hand right here so i'm getting ready to pull like some stuff for like my airport fit my lounge sets that i'm going to wear um when I'm out of town and all that. Right now, I got a whole bunch of like bras and lingerie and stuff like that. 
just sexy little underclothes. I love for my underclothes to match and to just be sexy. Like, not even just for, like, my husband, but just for myself. Like, I just like to have matching underclothes and just sets and stuff. So, um, that's what I have here. Just some sexy underwear. Even when I'm not, like, even when it's that time of the month, like, I still want to just feel good. It is freezing where we're going to be going. So, um, <laughs> the weather, I think, is, like, 40 degrees. So, I definitely need me some layers and different things like that. So, I'm getting ready to pull me some clothes and get my looks together um, so that I can have everything I need for this trip or some. All right, y'all, so I'm literally sitting in the floor. Um, I have all of this stuff. I know y'all seen some of my dingy clothes in here. Yep, I'm taking my dingy lounge sets because one of the days I'm just going to be chilling, okay? I'm going to be chilling in the house. And I brought my most comfy. This is one of my most comfiest sets. Um, and But I pretty much got this. I got me some out outfits. Y'all can't see that. They like under here, though. All right, guys, so my suitcases are in the process of being packed. Um... I have some more stuff. I obviously need a ton of stuff I need to add to them, guys. Pretty much everything in this um, living room space is going in my suitcase that belongs to me. So, um, doing that now. Well, let me get baked right in. He, he really packing it. I just brought all the stuff down, you know. We 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 help each other. We help each other. So, he helping me. We he shut up. He helping me in this sense, y'all. Alrighty, babe. So um my food has arrived. I'm so hungry. Um I ended up getting Taco Bell. Definitely wasn't the plan. Um, but that's really what was open. I don't know what's going on with DoorDash because usually like Applebee's and stuff be open later. Um, but all I've been having is like Taco Bell options. So that was freaking annoying, but it is what it is. We just gonna make it do what it do. Um, so I got their three local tacos, Dorito. Why I say local? Is it called Dorito Local Tacos? But I don't know. I got their three Dorito tacos. I love that because um, I love like that Dorito taste with my tacos. So it's basically I'll show you guys, but it's basically like a Dorito taco shell. Um, the not cheddar kind. What you call the original? Like just like the red kind of flavor one, red cheddar kind. Um, that kind of taco shell. Um, it don't come with sour cream. I thought it did, but I don't see nothing on here. It's really just lettuce, cheese, and meat. So, yeah, I'm about to put um, some hot sauce on it. I love this hot sauce right here, y'all. It's so good. So I'm getting ready to eat. Um, and then lay it on down because your girl is very much tired. So, y'all, this is the food. I mean, it ain't really all that. I mean, it's just going to do the job for the night. This is the sauce I was talking about that I love. Um... But what's this? What is that? Too good to not be true. But y'all, it's not like a whole busting situation. Um, oh yeah, it is called Dorito Locos Tacos. I was about to say, cause I knew it had some kind of loco connected to it. But I am getting ready to eat this and then I'm going to bed. It's literally 11 on the dot. Yeah, I have to be leaving my house at 5 a.m. Um, tomorrow. And so I need to get in the bed cause I need a shower and stuff in the morning. Like y'all, um, I'm, I'm going to eat this food and I'm going to bed and we're going to catch up in the morning. Good morning, guys. Um, who is early? Excuse me. I'm like three something, I think. Um, but I'm up, getting ready to hop in the shower. My eyes bother me, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know if my contact is messed up or what, but I've really been sitting right here for the last 15 minutes just kind of see what's going on with my contact. But I'm out this morning, I'm literally getting ready to hop in the shower and make my teeth all that good stuff and get dressed for the airport. So, good morning, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so I am dressed. Um, I have my sports bra on and then I have on my sweatpants. Getting ready to take this off, my um, hair stuff so that I can moisturize my face. You know, to moisturize my face, I'm going to moisturize. If you guys have been following me, you know I love Tula products. So I'm going to be moisturizing with this 24-hour Tula moisture. 
I absolutely love it. That's all I'm gonna put on my face this morning. Now, y'all, where I am going, it's colder. So I did bring my serums and stuff just in case. Mm, I need some serums. But so far, I really don't know what I'm going to need outside of my 24 hour moisture because that's what I do when I'm here in Georgia. So skincare routine might tweak a bit if it is really, really cold where I'm going. I do know it is rather colder. So I think their morning temperature where I'm going is like 40 degrees right now. So we'll see how my um, skin reacts, but it definitely may require me to um, put on a serum like with the moisturizer. So I have what I need for that in my suitcase in case like it's giving back. So face is glowing, skin is looking good. I need to fix my baby hairs. These are perfect, but I see like this one got like messed up or something. I'm gonna lay that down. Um, I'm gonna get my comb and do that. So I am done with my moisturizer and my milk band and all this stuff. I gotta make sure I put this in the suitcase, y'all, because oh we, I'll be tight if I leave it. Um, putting on my hoodie. Hopefully this thing won't have me burning up in the airport. It's rather warm, but then y'all know when stuff be too warm, like it'll have you sweating opposed to like feeling warm. Like a fine line between warm and sweating. So far I'm feeling good in it. So this is what we're giving this morning. I'm gonna take my hair out of this ponytail. I don't need that, but this is like a crop sweater and um, just like some high waist sweats. So I am on the way to the airport now. I might not put my hair thing back on because it's raining and I ain't want my edges or nothing to get messed up. But um, we are in our transportation now, getting ready to head to the airport. So um, yeah, everything progressing pretty good. I'm tired, so hopefully I can find me some coffee and some pee. I'm so tired. Like I fell asleep in the car. I feel like I'm about to fall asleep now. Um, so hopefully I can find me some coffee somewhere this morning. Alrighty, guys. So I have made it um, to the airport. I am um, over here at the I don't know what you call this, like outside thing where you can check your bags in. Of course, you can check your bags in the inside, but I always check mine in um, out here. So I'm headed over here to check in my baggage the line is short i'm hoping all of the lines are going to be short this morning um so yeah all right y'all so my bags are checked in um whoo y'all one thing about the airport guys is especially with our airport being one of the biggest ones i don't know why the signs are so vague when it comes to how to get to where are you trying to get to i'm just trying to get to general um checkpoint or whatever and i know like where it is just about but the signs be just so vague and i feel like i mean they are doing construction right now but it's just like it's giving can y'all at least put a little more signs up for the folks um but y'all everything is closed people been stopping me since i've been um over here waiting by the bathroom and they basically share with me that like they're giving out free pancakes or something today because it's better today so that's interesting but um I'm almost over here to the main checkpoint area. All right, guys, so I literally just came out of the train. Um, you know, uh -huh. the dog is so cute. We have two cents. Oh, no. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, anywho, y'all, it's not the cutest little dog, but, um, we are headed up the escalator. Oh, uh, 
Let's see. Oh, of oh, this one, yeah. So y'all, we're headed up the escalator now. Um, just got off the train. If you know anything about the Atlanta airport, you gotta catch the train. I remember when y'all, when I first moved here though, um, I had caught a flight from uh, my hometown to here and I literally walked through the concourse. So if you don't catch the train, you can just walk straight. Y'all, I literally walked through the whole thing. I think the train might've even been down. I think that's why I didn't get on the train. The train was down. And y'all talk about an experience, but I will say um, in the concourse area, like when you walk or whatever, they have like history about Atlanta. So it was like interesting, but it was still like a walk. I think it was like a eight to 10 minute walk. Um, so that train definitely be helping. All right guys, so I am in the Chick-fil-A line right now. Um, I just decided to come to this line. If I can be quite honest with y'all, I went to do Starbucks, but literally by the time I get to my gate, I only had like 20 minutes. We only got like 20 minutes to be bored. So it's like, it's best that I go to Chick-fil-A because they're moving super, super fast. But I really don't be liking to have like a whole biscuit in the morning sometimes, especially when I'm about to catch a flight. But um, I'm gonna just get something from here. I'm probably gonna get like their chicken minis. Comment down below what y'all get when y'all go to um, Chick-fil-A, you know, in terms of breakfast. So I think I'm gonna do the um, chicken minis. And I don't know what to drink. I do not like to go to the bathroom on flight, so that's why I'm kind of like hesitant because the girl don't even like to be getting up, okay? So I don't want nothing to, you know, make me have to even go to the bathroom on the flight. Alrighty, guys, so I am um, in this little, I forgot what you call this thing, but this is like the, I've made it, I'm pretty much, I've made it to the boarding area, and then I'm like in the little tunnel thing waiting to get onto the plane, so. Um, yeah, yeah, all is going well. I didn't even eat my breakfast. I did end up getting Chick-fil-A. Um, I got the chicken minis, and I ended wanted to get um, a food cup, but somebody put my order in wrong. Um, and so I ended up getting tater tot things, but nonetheless, it's cool. But I um, haven't ate anything, because, like, I don't know. I don't just want my stomach to, like, turn on me. So I just have to eat it once I land or maybe while I'm on the plane. But... I don't know, whenever I feel like I feel like I'm ready to eat, I'll eat it, but um, it'll probably end up being when I um, land more than likely. Or I might never run while I'm on the plane, I don't know. But I just knew I wasn't gonna eat it prior, so I'm um, ready to bring in. Alrighty guys, so um, we're on the plane now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, main cabin door has been closed at this point. We need all passengers seated before we can push back from the gate. Time for us to get out of here. Let's get back to those electronics and gamer airplane boats, please. No more phone calls. Flight tenants are getting orders card. Alright guys, so um, I have landed here in the sea, okay, um, and y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what kind of eyes them um, pilots got, but baby, it, I mean, that flight made me nervous, I will say it was the one of the smoothest flights I've had in a very long time, but I guess what made me nervous was the fact that um, it was like literally no visibility, once it did become visible, um, all you saw was water. And I'm talking about y'all, I ain't even being dramatic. The water looked like it was about three feet away from you. And then literally you landed. So I have to see how like the map of um, where I'm at is, but everybody that was on the flight, like the person that was beside me, she's like from this area, she was pretty much telling me that it's surrounded by water. So that's why it was like such a, you saw water, boom, then the wheels hit the ground. Cause I was like, y'all, what, what we doing what we doing um but yeah other than that i will say it was a super super smooth flight though um minimum bumps especially considering that right now i think what is it um hurricane nicole is going on so i get the fog i get the clouds and i would honestly get if there was turbulence so no it was a very very smooth beautiful flight um 
So yeah, they got a lot of restaurants in this airport too. It's not as big. I haven't seen no airport as big as Atlanta yet. I know Atlanta is not the big, well, I think Atlanta's one of the biggest, but it's not like the only one. So I, I'm trying to discover an airport that's like big too. Um, all these other ones are small, but they seem like they got some really nice, elegant um, food places back there to eat at. But um, I think I'm gonna get something in the city. I don't want no airport food. I didn't came all the way up here. I'm gonna need some food that's of the origin. All right. Just run it up before I go. Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you go? Alrighty guys, so I literally just got my bags from Baggage Claim. Here's the Baggage Claim area right here. Y'all, this airport is small, it's like a dot. What is it? I literally got off the plane, walked to the restroom, went to the restroom, came, kept going straight, ran right into Baggage Claim, and now the exit door is right in front of me. Small, but I mean, um, where I am. Oh, I didn't tell y'all where I was at. So guys, I am in Washington DC. So guys, I'm excited. It's gonna be nice. I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna have a ball. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna shoot content. I'm gonna see family. And just gonna enjoy myself and just enjoy life. So I'm excited. I'm taking you guys with me. Um, but I'm ending out this vlog. I'm going in this one out. But y'all gotta make sure that y'all subscribe and that you got that post notification bell on so that you can just follow my whole journey. Cause I'm giving y'all all the vlogs. Um, but yeah, guys, I love you guys so freaking much. Um, and, and it's been nice. It's been nice to take you guys along the journey with me. Um, comment down below what y'all want to see. I really want to meet up with some of my subscribers, y'all. But I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Um, but I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next vloggy vlog. Bye.